wall trim is designed to flash from the high side of the metal roof panels to a vertical wall. In this video, we're going to show you how to install it. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel. Brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of panel colors and finishes, all while saving 15 to 50% on your materials by buying Factory Direct. Visit westernstatesmetalroofing.com to find the right material for your project. In this video, we will cover preparing end wall at side wall, installing foam closures for end wall, overlapping end wall, and fastening end wall. If your roof has a side wall condition, all side wall trim must be installed prior to fastening end wall. Preparing end wall at side wall. Start by measuring the width of your side wall trim. In this instance, the side wall trim we are using is six inches. On your end wall, mark the width of your side wall and draw a line to the corner section. Using metal cutting snips, cut along the line. Quick tip on cutting metal with snips. When using snips to cut your metal, do not close the snips all the way down on each cut. This will make your cut choppy and uneven. The best way to cut is to leave about a quarter of an inch of the snips open and then slide inwards, repeating this process until you've cut all the way through. This method allows for a smoother, even cut. Installing foam closures for end wall. Prior to fastening end wall, Double-sided butyl tape and foam closures should be placed one inch from the edge of the end wall. Silicone sealant should be applied onto the foam closures. Silicone sealant should also be placed on the top of your sidewall. Overlapping end wall. Overlaps of end wall should be a minimum of six inches. Start by marking the edge of your end wall, six inches in length and an eighth of an inch deep. Using metal cutting snips, cut along the trace, notching out the hem of the end wall. On the adjacent piece, pry open the hem of the end wall, six inches deep. This will allow the end wall to slide into the notch piece. Silicone sealant should be placed at all overlaps. The top section should slide inwards onto the lower section of notched end wall. Fastening end wall. Pancake screws should be used to fasten the top section of the end wall, one inch from the edge. Screws should be placed 12 inches apart. Lab screws should be used on the lower section of end wall, one inch from the edge, following the path of our foam closures. Screws should fall on the high seams of your roofing panels, approximately 12 inches apart. Pancake screws should be placed on each side of any overlaps Lap screws should be placed on each side of any overlaps on the high seams of the roof panel. It is important to immediately clean off all metal burr and shavings. Burr and shaving can rust overnight, so if your installation will take multiple days, you need to clean your roof after each day. If your siding is corrugated panels, the panels will overlap as shown here. If you're using another material, such as stucco, You'll need to install a reglet. You can find a step-by-step -step installation video on reglets and more on our channel. Support us by giving a like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly.